Hi reception. Thank you for coming to our PE lesson today. Now, there are two parts to our PE lesson today. This is part one. In our lesson today, we are going to be creating a yoga flow using poses. Now, we learned those words last week. Yoga, flow, poses. Let's see if we can remember. Here's our first word. Yoga. Yoga. Pause the video now and tell your grown-up what you can remember about yoga. What is yoga? Pause the video now. That's right, reception. Yoga is when we exercise our bodies, our mind, and also our, our breath. Good job. What was our next word? Flow. 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 Pause the video now and see what you can remember about the word flow from last week's lesson. That's right. A flow is when we put together different yoga movements. Well done. Oh, pose. 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 What do you remember about the word pose from last week's lesson? Pause the video now. Well done. The movements in yoga are called poses. So we create a flow of poses. Well remembered. Now, to start our yoga lesson today, we're going to practice our breathing. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you what you're going to have learned by the end of this lesson. So at the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to put together a sequence of yoga poses into a flow. You might even have made your own yoga story using the poses. It's very exciting. So now let's do our warm up breathing exercises. So what I need you to do is sit with your legs crossed. your back nice and straight. You can have your hands open on your lap or you can have them in your lap. Your back needs to be nice and straight. And I just want you for a minute to close your eyes and take a big deep breath in and out. And again in and out. Make sure reception that you're breathing into your tummy. You don't want to breathe in your shoulders. So we don't want this. That'll make your neck really tight. If it helps you, you can put your hand on your tummy and feel your tummy getting bigger as you breathe and getting smaller as you breathe out. Let's try. Well done. Feel your body starting to relax. And now what we're going to do is take a big deep breath in and we're going to blow out slowly and controlled as if we're blowing candles out on a birthday cake. Now, when we do this, we're going to slowly move our head from side to side. I'm going to go first and taking a big deep breath in. And now I'm going to blow out my candle slowly and move my head. Now let's do it together. Big deep breath in. And slowly blow out our candles. If you want to do this a few more times, you can pause the video now and you can. This is a really great breathing activity for when you're feeling a little bit worried or if you're feeling a little bit angry. What we can do is blow out all our worries. Or we can blow out all of our anger. 
So remember that one because we can use that throughout the day. Well done, reception. We've done our wonderful control breathing. I think you're getting really, really good at controlling the way that you breathe. Big thumbs up. Now, we are going to do our practicing of some of our skills. So, what I'm going to do is play a game called How Many? And in this game, we're going to practice our balancing because balancing is very important in yoga and we only get better at balancing by practicing. So what we're going to do is move around our room, being very careful about the space around us so we don't bump into anything. And then I'm going to say a number and you have to balance using that many body parts. I'm going to go first so you can see what we need to do. I'm going to walk around my space. I'm going to say a number, two. And I'm going to balance using two body parts. I'm going to use a leg, a foot and a hand. I might put my arm out to help me balance and I'm gonna breathe in and breathe out. Because breathing helps us to balance and stay strong. Okay, we're going to do it together. So you're going to move around your room, being careful not to bam, bump into anything. Two. So now we're going to balance on our foot and our hand. Slowly reach to the floor, put your leg out, put your arm out if you need to, and take a big deep breath in and a big deep breath out. Well done. Let's try another one. Let's move around the room again. Think how your body feels. Move your arms if you want to. If you feel you need to give them a shake. Three. So this time, we're going to touch the floor using three of our body parts. So you could either do two feet and a hand, or if you want extra balance, we can use one foot and two hands and breathe in and breathe out. Super job reception. This time you're going to do it by yourself. So you're going to walk around now, move around your room and I'm going to say a number. Four. Balance on the floor using four of your body parts and breathe in and breathe out. Super job. Now move around your room again one last time. Two. Balance on the floor using two of your body parts. Try to challenge yourself not to just use your two feet. A foot and a hand would be really good. And breathe and breathe out. Fantastic reception. You're getting so good at controlling your body. And this week we use our breath to help us to stay strong and well balanced. Good job. Now this is the end of part one of our video. Part two, we're going to be learning some new yoga poses and then we're going to put we're going to be putting them together into our flow and we're going to be telling a yoga story. See you in a